and welcome back to round two of week one of Heartland Hoops. And Bubba Ball is rolling again at Advance High School. Hornets coach Dennis Bubba Wheatley has a team flying high. This guy is an amazing coach. They love him. Just love him right over there. Meanwhile, there he is, an advance looking to keep it going at home against Richland. Heck, ESPN's out there covering it. Meanwhile, nice drive, Hayden hit, and that's a nice basket. Advance getting it going early, and the cheerleaders looking for some more. Hey, Richland on the break. Eric Williams, good basket there, and their cheerleaders appreciate it as well on this Friday night of Heartland Hoops. But Colton Silman and Advance the answers. No quitting Richland though again, fighting for two, it's that Williams dude. Tough right inside, but Advance wins it 85 to 44. Those Hornets can score some points, can't they? Hey, not too far down the road, cold night, but Delta and Bell City keeping it warm with a great game. Bell City, Dawson looms with the rebound and the putback. And hey, they're looking for more. This was a heck of a game. Delta responds, Carter Shear, he gets the bucket right there. Bell City cheerleaders, it's a big night over there. And Baylor F Tank, how about the scoop, the basket? He's got it, he says, hey, I'll take care of it. Delta though, the inbounds. Gavin Lesh, hey, 60 to 58 though, Bell City wins it. Brandon Grimes with three seconds to go, had the game winner, but Bell City comes away with a win. All right, how about another trip to, to Southern Illinois? Let's go ahead and get it going out there and Hey, these Illinois dudes are ready in Carterville playing well. The Lions all over DeCoin. Aiden hitting with the bucket right there. And Carterville again had that big lead. But you know what? Hey, DeCoin playing tough too. Unselfish basketball, whether you're up big or not, good passing. And Dwayne Wil Wilmington will finish. But the Lions seems like they were hitting everything. Maddox Crane and Carterville wins it 93 to 42. Colin Bailey back to shoot those. Nolan Cook earlier got the games at Bell City uh, as well as Advance, so it's good to have our crew back for sure. Meanwhile, a lot of big plays tonight. The question is, where do we go for our Heartland Hoops play of the night? Let's find out the answer. Senior night at Notre Dame. Hey, Brett Dohan, he's trapped. He can't do anything, can he? Yeah, he can. He somehow finds Colton Johnson, fires it up. Bing, off the rim and in. That, my friends, is a Heartland Hoops play of the night. Notre Dame also beat Kennett on senior night. College Hoops, Simo men and women. Boy, they looked good last night at the Show Me Center. Women started things off 68-45 over Lindenwood. First OVC win of the year. And not bad for Coach Rika Patterson's team looking good. And Coach, well, Brad Korn's team picked it up as well. Another huge win, 94-71 as well over Lindenwood. They're three and two, carrying a two game winning streak in a tomorrow's matchup at Moorhead State. The same prep, it's a little bit different because it's such a long, it's the longest trip we have on, on the schedule. Uh, so we'll get over there early and obviously it's the game, quick turnaround with the game being in the afternoon. So uh, we'll get over there, take the trip, get the guys off their feet. Uh, but yeah, it's, it's right away starting on Moorhead. I, I think the thing too about our guys is they're gonna know who their personnel is. You know, the technology and the way things are these days, they know who everybody is. Uh, so now it'll be just a matter of locking in on the film and the game plan of, of how we wanna execute. Women at noon, men at two, big games. How about it, Southern Illinois and Murray State, huge one. They're gonna raise the banner for Cameron Payne. We're taking a timeout.